Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Ubu Godswin Uchi. Super excited to be here again. Today I have with me my best part. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> I'm back from the positivity mindset. Always happy to be here. Yeah, it's All right, now. super excited whenever he's here with me. Um, we'll be yeah. doing um, more Islamic content because he's a, um, a Muslim, I'm a Christian. Yeah. And you know, when these recommendations come in and I really want someone who have more ideas mm -hmm. on this than I am and it's been an amazing journey for me mm -hmm. so without wasting much of a time today we'll be reacting to this act is not acceptable in Islam mm -hmm. by the merciful servant without missing any time let's get right into this if you think that your color race your nationality your tribe your part of the world is better than others and they are inferior because of that then you cannot be a true believer the prophet muhammad peace be upon him warns us and he says that people are all equal and the only virtue is the piety or connection with your maker which is known only by the maker himself so nobody should ever think for a moment that they are better than another race another nationality another part of the world, another village, and so on. My brothers and sisters, I know we might claim that we don't believe that, and we might claim we are not racist, but look deep down. There is always room for improvement. Either way, no matter who, no matter where, no matter what, there is always room for improvement. So don't treat people badly based on their color, based on their race, their nationality. This is something that a lot of Muslims actually need to rectify or work on because there is a lot of racism, tribalism, whatever other ism that there is within the Muslim communities. And people do sometimes believe that they are better, their nationality is somehow superior in the eyes of Allah than another. A'udhu Billah, may Allah forbid. Remember, that is jahiliyyah. It is worse than the period of ignorance. There is no hierarchy in Islam, not at all. Sometimes people use this as an excuse not to marry. They use it as an excuse not to do business. They use it as an excuse to talk badly to. They use it as an excuse to refer in a derogatory manner to another race, another nationality. If you understand the maker, and if you really love the maker, you would love everything that maker has made. Don't ever let this ignorance creep into your heart or mind that makes you feel that for some reason you are more entitled, you are better, superior and so on. That is absolutely unacceptable and totally untrue. Well, Islam actually uh, teaches us that uh, there is only uh, one origin for the human race. The Quran often uh, refers to us as Bani Adam, uh, which could mean uh, the children of one man, Adam, or uh, just simply that we're all human beings all together. And uh, the mm -hmm. Quran says, Inna khalaqnakum min dhakrin wa unsa. We have surely created you uh, from a male and a female. Wa ja'alnakum shi'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu. And we have made you into nations and tribes uh, so that you may know each other inna akramakum and allahi atqaqum certainly the most honorable among you are those uh, who are most aware of their duty uh, and this is in the 49th chapter of the quran in the 11th verse so you can see in this verse that there is a clear indication that uh, there is no superiority of one human being over another and, and in the islamic context there are two duties one is the duty towards god and another is your duty uh, towards god's creatures if we were to discriminate against anyone based on their social standing, based on their color, their nationality and so on, the fact that they might be financially disadvantaged, if we were to discriminate on those lines, our acts of worship would not be accepted or the reward would be uh, nullified or reduced. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. And today, uh, scientists uh, are very clear that all humans uh, around the globe uh, share 99% uh, of genes in, in common. It is said that one of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, a, a black person, uh, Bilal, uh, who was very close and dear to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and continues to be very dear to all Muslims worldwide, uh, was uh, uh, insulted by another companion who called him the son of a black woman. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, stepped up to defend him. And uh, so, uh, uh, rebuked uh, the offender uh, that the offender being a man of faith uh, uh, wanted to make things right so he said to Bilal uh, here is my face on, on the ground just put your boot on my face uh, mm -hmm. just just to make things even but of course Bilal mm -hmm. wouldn't uh, wouldn't do that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says la fadla li arabiyyin ala ajami wa la li ajamiyyin ala arabi wa la li abyad ala aswad illa bit taqwa there is no virtue of an Arab over a non-Arab and there is no virtue of a non-Arab over an Arab or a white over a black except by piety which is only known by the Almighty himself so stop it may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us strengthen us and make us from those who really can respect everyone yes people will be slightly different in their culture they will be different in their habits they may be different slightly in the way they speak the way they come across the languages they use allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about it in the quran you know what he says <laughs> In Surah Al Hujurat, Allah says, O oh people, I have created you from a single male and a female, Dhakarin wa Untha, and from the two of them, we made you, we made you, we created you into various tribes and peoples, different clans and different, you know races etc in order that you recognize one another just to recognize one another to be able to identify each other so allah created every human different for identification purposes your iris your thumbprint and so many other differences it's for you to be recognized imagine if everyone was exactly the same life would be so boring but Allah says, we made you different colors and sizes and shapes and nationalities, or in fact, races and so on. At that time, nationalities was not really applicable. But my brothers and sisters, guess what Allah says? Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. Indeed, the most honored in the eyes of Allah is the one who has the best relationship with Allah. And indeed, who knows that? The very, very end of that verse, Allah says, Inna Allah alimun khabir. Allah is the one who's all knowing. He is the one who knows absolutely everything. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us true believers. True believers. If Allah is special in your heart, anything that he made should be special in your heart. Oh. Mm. Move to Mank again. <laughs> oh my God. I love this guy so, so much. Like, yeah, um, this is one of the things that is really affecting the world today, racism. And a lot of people think like they are not racist, actually. But when you look at the way they behave, the way they act, and the way they talk to some people, not only by the color and all of that, even when someone is below them, the way they act, talk to them, like it's too harsh and too bad. They think like they are above the person in any ways. Like you have some rich people that are humble. You have some poor people as well that are not humble. They'll be talking to everybody anyhow, which is not nice. But actually, I'll focus more on the racism side, like you calling another person inferior or like different because like you, you don't have the same skin the same nationality the same background it's really bad and uh, and in islam that's not really acceptable just how he mentioned here like um talking about what, one of the last sermon of the prophets the prophets mentioned like uh, no arab is greater of, than another arab no, and also a non-arab is not better than an arab the one who is more closer to God is more va like has virtue or like have relationship with God is considered the best. So you can be a black man and still you can be white and still be closer to God than the other person. And even the Arabs, like you have Arabs that are kind of like racist, like talking about the slavery that was happening in Libya and all of that. 
human trafficking and, and yeah it was really bad but and what pains me the more like when i saw it and people were telling me oh these are muslims i was like no that's you being an arab that or you having a muslim name doesn't make you a muslim your behavior the way you worship god the relationship you have with god that what makes you a muslim islam is all about submission giving your will to like god like i've given everything my my desire my actions and everything i do is for god so that's it but it's really nice watching the video yeah yeah so is one thing so some few a month ago i made a, uh, a video um talking about the prophet peace be unto him um someone posted that islam is racist made a lot of comments and i made another video and then on that video i posted the comments of that person wanting clarifications or something but this video actually have cleared my my you know made a lot of clarifications for me mm -hmm. you know uh, we see this every day. We see, it, apart from just Muslims, we see even in Christendom, as we call it, mm -hmm. um, we see um, people say a lot of things because of your denomination, because of your your tribe, because mm -hmm. of where you're from. Even in Ghana, like I, I have experienced it, mm -hmm. the whole lot. Because from where I'm from, we are in West Africa. We speak English. We are tagged to be as um, brothers and sisters. You know, yeah. like we are so close. Our our relationship. And we share a lot of things in common, but on a regular basis, we see these things like they say, Oh, you Nigerian, I'm a Nigerian, like, yeah. and they say, You Nigerian, you are like this. I like, I've, sometimes I confront them, but like, Have I ever done such a thing to you? Like, no, mm -hmm. but your people, I'm like, your people are doing me in Nigeria, we're about 220 million people, or 200, two, almost 200 million people yeah. in Nigeria. So, why would you tag me with? Because you had an most people, in fact, haven't even gotten an encounter with a Nigerian or experienced that personally, yeah, but because of something someone has sentiment, said, sentiment, you know, yeah. yeah, the prejudice is just big. And I, when I was in school, I told someone something I'm like, dude, stop always saying you Nigerians, you Nigerians. If me, my name is Ubu Gotswiluche, have stolen your goods, I want to make it known that someone from Nigeria has stolen your goods. Say Obu goes with Uchi mm -hmm. from so -so -so state in Nigeria mm -hmm. who attends so -so school yeah. stole my goat or took away my goat. I, I, I made it known to him, so make it clear, point out my name that I did this to you. Mm -hmm. You don't just come and say you Nigerians, it's like you like Nigeria, we're way, way, way bigger. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people, a lot of tribes, over, over 250 languages spoke as um, we speak in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over 250 languages, and the tribes are uncountable. There are tribes, there are sub-tribes, in other yeah, sub-tribes, there are sub-sub-tribes, uh, you know? <laughs> so, sure. you just don't tag the, us like that. We are, we are big. So, because of that, you don't just say, oh, you this, you that. Now, nah. I've experienced even when I go to church, they say some things, I just smile and look at them because I've, I've, like, I've gotten some kind of thick skin to those things. I've gotten used to getting, you know, but that's, comments, yeah, yeah, those things. Really bad also discourage people people from coming to god from you know because mm. normally we approach people with love and if we are there we don't get that love mm. yeah. i don't think we want to keep attending that place yeah. we see um we are re um, relegated because you feel if this person come into this kind of position yeah. in the house of god it will bring you more of his people if he brings more people is we thank the lord yes because it's okay. to god it's bringing people to god mm -hmm. and what's really painful sometimes is like People dress or like act outside like they are religious, yeah? But when you look at their character, it doesn't go in line with the religion. Yeah. That's it. That's another thing too. Because sometimes you see people like dress like good chefs, having a beard and all of that looking nice. But their actions, most of the actions, yeah, you can't be perfect, yeah? You have some mistakes we do. But you have some of the actions like majority of the actions are like bad. It doesn't go well with the religion so if someone is trying to copy that example and trying to like assess it and say okay these are how muslims are or these are how christians are or these are this part of this nationality that's how they behave it's really bad yeah exactly. it's really it's really really hard to like true. tell true so the most important thing is just everybody with love mm -hmm. with love we can win people to the lord with love with our character we yeah. will be able to approach people the way we love people the way we explain things to people mm -hmm. the way we accept people we will tolerate people uh, uh to what we will bring them to 
know God because mm -hmm. they will see God in us, they will see God in the way we behave, the way we approach them, the way we dress, the yeah. way we eat. They will, you will just see the likeness of God, you know, like because yes, we are like the God you're seeing on earth because who would the true us they can be taken to God. But if we have a bad attitude, a bad character, we don't show love for people, they'll be like, What exactly is this person preaching? What exactly is he saying? Yeah. So we are like a representative of God on earth. Mm -hmm. So we all we do, we should try as much as for well to represent God, to emulate, you know, for people to see God through us. Yeah. So thank you guys for sticking with us on this yeah. one. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. subscribe. If you have any recommendation, any suggestion to make sure better, drop that in the comment section. Yeah. And don't forget to follow the positivity mindset yeah. on YouTube. We think amazing content creator. Go check out his contact. Um, I'll be dropping the link in the description. You just go check that out. So come yeah. over next time.